In this video, we'll be talking about angle relationships in quadrilaterals. A quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides. And you can see in front of you several different examples of quadrilaterals. We'll start by looking at the quadrilateral ABCD and answering the question, what do the interior angles add up to? What do the interior angles in this quadrilateral add up to? Why don't you write down your best guess and maybe using the Protractor app that you've downloaded see if you can try and figure out what the interior angles in this quadrilateral sum up to. Here's what we're going to try. In quadrilateral ABCD I can imagine cutting this quadrilateral in half by drawing a line through BD. And what I've made is two triangles. I've made triangle ABD and I've made triangle BCD. And we know that inside a triangle all the angles add up to 180 degrees. Likewise, in triangle BCD, if I added up all the interior angles, they would add up to 180 degrees. So I've taken my quadrilateral, I've divided it into two triangles, thereby creating two shapes whose interior angles add to 180. If I remove that division, well, I still have two shapes there where their interior angles would be 180, even though I'm not dividing them anymore. If I add those two angles together, 180 plus 180, I get 360 degrees. So in this triangle, the interior angles of a quadrilateral sum up to 360 degrees. But that's just one shape. That's just one quadrilateral. Does it work for all quadrilaterals? So for now, let's just put a big question mark by our therefore statement. And you can try this on your own, and I'll try this a different way. Draw your own quadrilateral. Any four-sided shape. Draw it out. So I've drawn mine and I've tried to make it look as different as possible. You can draw yours in many different ways. And let's see if we can perform the same exercise. Can you draw a line through your quadrilateral in some way so that you create two triangles? I can. And I know that each of these triangles if I were to add up the interior angles, would have interior angles equal to 180 degrees. So I've created one shape that has really two different shapes inside of it, whose interior angles are 180 degrees. If I add those two interior angles up together, I get 360 again. And you should see the same thing in your quadrilateral, which means in all quadrilaterals, the interior angles sum to 360 degrees. So if the interior angles in a quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees, what about the exterior angles? What do the exterior angles in a quadrilateral sum to? We can answer this question in a similar way to the questions that we've answered about triangles. So I know this quadrilateral, I know the interior angles, what they are equal to, I know that these are straight lines, so I know that to find this angle, I would do 180 degrees, take away 75, and I get 105 degrees for this first exterior angle. Likewise, going around the quadrilateral, 180 
take away 55 would be 125. 180 take away 160 would be 20 degrees. And lastly, 180 take away 70 would be 110 degrees. So now that I've calculated all the exterior angles, I can add them all together. 105 plus 125 plus 20 plus 110. And when I add this all up, I end up with 360 degrees. And so previously, the exterior angles in a triangle all add up to 360 degrees. The exterior angles in our quadrilateral look like they add up to 360 degrees. I think it's a safe assumption to make that the exterior angles in any quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees. So two problems to try. Problem A, problem B, you can see them in front of you. We're trying to find the unknown angles. So we're trying to find angle X and angle Y. Why don't you try these both on your own first? And then in a moment I'll come in and show you the solutions. So here's our solutions to the two problems. In problem A, you are given three interior angles of the quadrilateral. We know that inside a quadrilateral, all the angles add up to 360 degrees. If we subtract the three angles that we know, we end up with our fourth and final angle, which was 111 degrees. In question B, we are given three exterior angles. We know that in a quadrilateral, all the exterior angles add up to 360 degrees. So likewise, we could take 360 degrees, subtract the three exterior angles we know to get our angle Y, which is 117 degrees. And last little bit, a parallelogram is a special shape. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral. whose opposite sides are parallel. So in this parallelogram, the top sides are parallel, and the left and right sides are parallel. Also in a parallelogram, angles that are adjacent are supplementary. So adjacent is a fancy way of saying beside each other, so angles that are beside each other are supplementary. Supplementary means that they add to 180 degrees. So if I have an angle X and an angle Y and I add them together, they have to be equal to 180 degrees. Also in a parallelogram, angles that are opposite, angles that are opposite are equal. So the angle opposite angle X, the angle opposite angle Y have to be equal, and again, because they're adjacent, they add to 180 degrees.